They only say invest, you should beat inflation. The principle is correct. But what exactly are we talking about when you talk about inflation? Okay, what is inflation anyway? What's inflation? Yes, it's the rate at which prices have risen compared to a baseline over a period of time. Very technical definition. So simply natin, pagtaas ng presyo ng bilihin. Ganun lang ang usapan niya. Pamaas ang presyo. Meron bang panahon talaga at over an extended period, bumaba ang presyo ng bilihin? Wala. Wala talaga. Yeah. In certain sectors, I agree. Communication actually has become cheaper. It is much cheaper to communicate today than at any other point in history. Don't you find it strange na dati pag sumulat ka, tapos na naman linggo, wala ka pag-isagot, okay lang? <laughs> Pero ngayon, pag nag-text ka, pag kalahating oras, di ba sumasagot, umiinit na ang ulo mo? Nasin <laughs> zone ka na. Nasin zone. Sabi ba? So, inflation basically is prices rise over time, and if your money does not grow at the same rate, what happens to you? Life gets harder. This is where you get into that phenomenon na yung feeling na matipid ka naman, di ka naman maluho, in fact, you go out of your way to scrimp and save wherever you can, but life keeps getting harder. Bakit ganun? Hindi na may kasalanan. Because we don't even, most of us, when we went through college, Eco 101, then we went again. Ever since then, did you ever actually keep track of it? Okay. It is announced within the first 10 calendar days of every year. Do we pay attention? Because, can I blame them? We cannot because we are bombarded every day with so much information, our minds are already set to accept certain things and reject certain things. Based on what? What we believe to be important. And that's developed over time. Sapon. Sapon. Ano peso dollar rate? Ayan. Lahat ba kayo may dolyar? Yes. Ba't alam nyo? Kahit sinong Pilipino, tanongin mo peso dollar rate, kahit hindi pa yung nakakahawak ng dolyar, alam niya basically yan. Bakit? Hinanap ba niya yan? Diba? Ano ba peso dollar rate ngayon? Sinatanong mo ba yan every day? What's today's exchange rate? No, you don't. And yet it's in your head. Somehow your mind picked out of all the tons of information you are bombarded with every single day. That sticks. So that's pretty accurate. Yes, it is around 47. Inflation rate natin. That's it. By the way, our inflation rate is influences the exchange rate is actually more important for our day-to-day -day lives. But we don't care. I teach economics to undergrads and whenever I start the school year, one of the things I say to them is, oh, hindi niya tinatalo. Ang inflation rate, tuloy niya ng pera niya, pumunta kayo sa mall, kasasin niya na lahat. Economically and financially, by the way, that makes sense. Because that means you got full value for your money. Of course, that is not sustainable, that is not practical. Please don't do that. Okay? But I am saying that to show you what this does. Maganda na example na lang. Ano na yung Max's? Max's chicken. Yung una niya, yan, malalami na ito sa new generation. The first or one of the biggest Max's of old was on Dewey Bullet. Sino may alam kung saan ang Dewey Boulevard? Saan yun? Dewey Boulevard is the old name for Rojas Boulevard. Ah, kunyari, hindi alam. May lang daw na rin eh, kasi gano'n. Dati, isang buong manok, when Max is first in the mountain, isang buong manok doon, limang piso. Ako nga po. Sorry, nilama ko yung nakadikit ka pala sa wall. 
Hindi dahil age ko siya. I'm young. Too young for that. <laughs> But she's correct. Five pesos, one entire chicken. So think about that model. You have five pesos back then. You could have bought an entire chicken. It's a restaurant yan, ha? And Max's back then was a classy restaurant. Ngayon, medyo pang nasa image niya. Pero dati, pag nag-access ka, social ka. It was something you planned an entire month magmamaxis yung pamilya. That was a big deal. Limang piso isang bunga. So may limang piso ka dati yan, ang choice. You save it, or you spend it. And that's always our choice with money. You save it or you spend it. Those are the only two things you can do. Spend it or not. That's it. Fast forward to today. Let's say you chose to save it. If 5 pesos mo na yun, by now siguro mga dalawang dami na yun. Mga 150 na yun siguro. 180. Dali mo yung 180 na yun sa maksa, huwag mo lang kami. Hindi na. Quarter lang yata yan eh. Pakahap. Mga quarter. So ano na pala mo sa pagtitiis mo? Did you actually end up becoming better off? No. So what was the point of the entire exercise? For more contemporary example, since mas baka naman tayo lahat kaysa sa maxes, <laughs> Big Mac yun na lang. Burger fries, regular drink, correct? Sabi mo nga, kami, magdalang taan? Bawal lang sa inyo mag-iya, hindi ko na alam eh. My wife will kill me every time I eat that. So we have 200, let's round it up. So, 200 pesos, you're hungry, you can buy the Big Mac meal, masaya ka. Or you can take 10 pesos, cup noodles. Ang mga isang pokiso ang cup noodles, wala na ba? Magkano? Bawal na din kasi sa akin yan. Magkano na cup noodles nga yan? Pinakamura. 20? 20. 180. So, 20 pesos, Tiis ka, 180, lagay mo sa same. So why are you doing this, by the way? Why are you doing this? Because you want something better. I would like to assume. And by something better, let's make it simple. You want to upsize the price and drink. Huh. That is your something better. Agree? <laughs> okay? Upsize mo natin. Yun na lang. So yung 180 mo, tinabi mo, 20, nagtiis ka, After a year or two years, what do you think will happen? Can you even buy that same Big Mac meal? Oh, wala na yung burger. Wala ba wala na yung burger? Price and take na lang yan. You wait a bit more. Ano may iiwan? Price na lang. So what did your sacrifice actually get? Hunger. Deprivation. That's why people get turned up by investing. They equate it with deprivation. My pity is ako. I will deny myself good things simply because we fail to understand this. And the sad fact is, even practitioners do not really understand this. They just use a number that is given by the government. Let's say 1.1 percent. Okay, you beat inflation. It's 1.1 percent. So if your investment beats inflation, it's good. It won. Great for you. Completely wrong. If not completely wrong, inadequate or insufficient. Because first and foremost, let's take a look at inflation. Ano ba naman inflation na yan? So when you talk to an advisor and they tell you, okay, you have to beat inflation, ask them. In a way, you begin to check their competence. Okay, say, what exactly is in that inflation? Because they always say it's a basket of goods, correct? It's a basket of goods. It's getting talked about. What exactly is in that basket? According to the government, that basket looks like this. Meaning, of the 100% that is spent, 40% is on food and non-alcoholic beverages. <coughs> is this what your expenses look like? Yan ang last time, pinagawa pa yung expenses niya eh, di ba? This is what the government says is the average of a Filipino. And if you use the 1.1% rate, This means you are behaving in a way similar to this. Is this how you behave? Sino dito may anak? Okay. 
Ano pika ba ang gasto natin sa mga anak natin? Education. Education. So, do you spend just 3.5% of your salary on your child's education? No. no. So, what use is this then? Not very useful. So, what use is that figure then to you? Not as relevant. But the principle is correct, yes. <clears throat> now, it's hard to appreciate when you're using percentages. Mm -hmm. So, let's have a case study. Let's say you make 100,000 a month. Let's say. Para lang madali yung master. Okay, yan. So, sa isang buwan, ang gastos mo sa edukasyon ng anak mo kasama tuition, wala pang 3-2. For all children na yan, ha? Pwede. <laughs> <laughs> and that is what I am saying. If we just blindly accept data without understanding the context, we are not making faulty decisions. Ayan, no? So when an advisor says beat inflation and they are just saying, oh, beat the 1.1, kulang yung research ng tao. They don't know enough about you yet. But are you actually willing to provide them this information so that I can give you a better alternative? Because if you don't give me better information, this is what I will default to. And if this is wrong for you, then what I give you will be wrong. So what's your choice now? Either calculate this yourself or you give us better figures. It's up to you. Tell us what your inflation rate is over time or give us this and we will calculate it for you. You have to pick one. So, ano mas gusto niya? Bigay sa amin o kayo mag-calculate? Ang hirap, di ba? Kasi syempre, ayaw mo ibigay yan eh. Di ba? Ayaw mo ibigay talaga yan. Pero pag hindi mo ibinigay yan, hindi kita mabibigyan ng tama. I need this. Then I can choose which fund then I can choose which instrument, which strategy will help you reach your goals. But if you do not give me this, or worse, if you give me wrong data, who will suffer, me or you? Parang yung sabi sa doktor, Dok, masakit siya ko, pero problema mo nandito. Bibigyan kita ng antasin, eh yung pala may problema ka sa taas. Sino mahihirapan pag ganun? I know it's very personal, that's why the alternative is you calculate it, you tell the advisor then. Well, my expenses actually go up about 8% per year, 9%. Do you have a product that can do that? Oh, yun pwede. Pero ikaw gagawa nito, willing ka ba? That's the harsh choice. Protect your privacy, I agree. Then give me better data. Kasi dapat alam mo naman yan, di ba? Lalo na, in the, in the next session, we will learn to do projections. Mag-protect na tayo pa. Kasi, from knowing what you do now, eh, di ba gusto mga future, mag-protect na tayo. Yeah, kasi, we all grow old eh. Well, I'm sure what you want today is very different from what you wanted 10 years ago or even 5 years ago. And 5 years from today, you may be in a very different place from where you are. But life takes the weirdest turns sometimes. True. Maraming sinasabing single for life, bigla na lang isang taon, buntis na, magsasettle down. Maraming mga pinala kayo mga gano'n. Life takes the strangest turns sometimes. And your plans have to evolve. It's always funny to me when I hear stories or when I hear people when they talk about insurance and when someone offers them insurance, sasabi, pero ano siya, ay hindi, meron na ako na, okay na ako. Bakit? Vaccination sa ito? <laughs> Di ba? Bili ka once, okay ka na buong buhay? Why? Has your life not evolved over time? You have to look at it that way. Oh, I'm married rather late in life. So, single person, certain target. Through a weird twist of events, I actually got married to the surprise of my family. Change numbers. Kasi may sawa lang bigla eh. Then we had a son. Change numbers again. Kasi may bata na eh. And that all happened in a span of five years. 
So, tapad yung plano ko, nag-evolve. That insurance, iniisip ko lang, magulang ko. Then, I have to do the paperwork to transfer to my wife and child. Tapos, sasabihin mo sa akin, one time lang yun. My assets, fortunately, have increased. So, I have a board to protect. So, hindi ko i-insure yan. But I understand where you're coming from. Allergic naman tayo pag binibentahan eh. Totoo yun. So, ikaw magbigay nito. Do not come to me and ask me, Aya, magkano ba insurance na kailangan ko? Patay tayo dyan, bibentahan talaga kita, kaliwat kanan. <laughs> <laughs> Pero pag sinabi ko, Aya, eto budget ko, eto yung nahanap ko, meron ka ba nito? The answer becomes yes or no. Yes, let's do business. No, okay, move on. But we have to do our share. Pag tayo man nagpunta sa doktor, hindi naman, Dok, masama pakiramdam ko. Sasabihin mo na ito, Dok, oh, saan ang sakit? Hulaan niyo. <laughs> Ganun ba? Hindi eh, sasabihin dito. Kaya ang patagat, eh, comes and it goes, ganito, ganito. Tapos may pain meter ka pa. Dok, ano ibig sabihin ng 5 versus 6? Diba yung mga ganun o pain meter? Finance works exactly the same way. Ano ba gusto mong mangyari? Kailan? Papano? Saan? Sino kasama? Then we can have nice things. That's why this is very important. That inflation figure, again, it's released within the first 10 calendar days. It's in all the major websites, it's in all the major business sections, and yet we need to hurry up. Pero mag-away ang ALDAP, alam natin lahat. Oh, yan, no? Is this how you behave? Here are the basic, ano, fill up na yung ganyan. Gawa kayo na sa linyo yung ganyan. Diba? Kinuha yung wali, gawa kayo ng, ano, so that alam nyo, and over time, you build your own database. Ito ang hirap pag hanap ng bagong doktor because you have to tell your entire medical history again. Lolo ko naman tayo ng ganito, lolo ko naman tayo ng ganon. Dito ko may ganyan, yung magulo ko may ganyan. Diba? It, it, it's so exhausting, you can keep doing that. That's what this is. It's your record. It's your financial record. Then you can make better decisions. Maybe you don't need the stock market. Great. There are now lots of safer alternatives. But how do I know that? That's why one of the criticisms among many advisors is this. Pag tinanong, anong magandang fund? Pag tinanong anong magandang fund, sasagot, balance na lang. Bakit? Para lahat meron. Hindi ganun. Diba? Each fund has a purpose. And for me to prescribe the proper fund, I need good data for you. That's where the trust has to come in. And if you don't trust me, fine, I get it. Yes. Then give me good numbers. So that we can make better. Because the sad fact is our margin of error is very, very Unlike other things, when you make a mistake, you can recover. But when it comes to finance, if you make certain mistakes, it's very hard to recover. Especially when you're past 40, sad to say. Pag 20 at 30 ka, madali makabawi. Pag nagkamali ka, lang past 40 at may pamilya ka, ang hirap makabawi. I've been wiped out in the stock market more than once. Eh, ako lang naman eh. So, I eat noodles for a couple of weeks. That's fine. <laughs> ako lang eh. Pero may asawa talang na ako, hindi na pwede ganun. Risk profile change, investments must change, behavior must change. Napicture nyo yun. Luwa kayo na ganyan yun ha. Para next time. Namin seryoso yan. It, it's a guide. You don't have to follow it to the letter. You can come up with your own. <coughs> But at least have something that you're comfortable with. Okay. Ayan. People are sometimes surprised where the money goes. Okay. For the people who were here last time and you did your expenses, what was your biggest surprising expense? Uber. 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 I'm a huge fan of Uber and Grab, to be honest. I hate driving. I really do. I think it's such a waste of time to be stuck in it. And you can do so many more things. So, yun, I was really glad that Uber and Grab became really popular. Mas madali makasakay since I live in Eastwood, especially. 
I can get Uber pretty much any time of the day. And, pa-uwi, okay din lang. So, syempre, naka-charge sa credit card, makikita ko yung expenses ko. Nung na shock ako. Pero makikita ko yung nungunan, teka. Yan, kung umingin ko yung sa topic. Ayun na lang. Choice ko na lang yun. So, what happened? Well, unfortunately, bad timing. Because last year, as I told you last time, last year, I bought a Fortuner. Now, after one year of use, this has 4,400 kilometers. Kasi every time I go to Makati, every time I go to BGC, yung pumunan nila yan yun. Lalo ko yung parking, maglalagay nila yung sine dun sa iPad, pero ano, dala na to. Nakakunod ako ng sine, isipin mo, pero kasa lang ang traffic. I'm regularly able to watch movies. In traffic. Nagkagabi na. Traffic last night was horrible, right? Yes. Uya ko 1A. Mamakati siya. Sa inang nagkasayo. Bye. So, ano expenses? Yeah, Uber is one. Ano pa? What is your surprising expense? Grocery? Yeah. Office lunch. Ano? Office lunch. Office lunch. O, yung pa, isa yun. Diba? Sama ka na sama sa bangkada. That's true. Especially mga yan. Pero alam mo, papaiwan ka din. That's also hard. Sa payday na lang. Those are the things. Now, I'm not saying you stop doing them, no. <coughs> but if you know, then you can make better choices. Because honestly, it's so easy to spend money today compared to any other. Dati, para gumastos, mag-prepare ka pa para gumastos. What do I mean? Para gumastos dati, pupunta ka sa mall, siyempre na siguro, I assume, maliligo ka. Maliligo <laughs> ka, bigis ka, commute ka, bago ka makagastos. Eh, ngayon, basta may telepono ka, libo-libo magagastos mo sa isang pinto, eh. And it's surprising the penetration of cell phones in our country, ah. In Tacloban, since I was working with one of the large phone companies, every single person we talk, and we're talking about among the poorest of the poor, and yet they all have access to a cell phone. That's it, ah. So, talagang makakagastos ka yun, eh. Eh, kung yun, may access na gano'n, for us, I'm guilty. I have two phones. Isang globe, isang smart. Dati nga, tatlo, di ba? Isang globe, isang smart, at isang sun. Buti nga ngayon, dalawa na lang eh. Bakit? Kasi mas mura naman talaga pag within network. So, ano yung costs? That's why, personally, I do like credit cards. I do. Prior to apps, that was my way of monitoring my experience. Credit card ko na lang lahat, so at the end of the month, I can give you. Pero may safety feature tayo. The credit card card limit namin mag-asawa, combined, is simply my average one month. That's it. No more than that. My bank tries to raise it every quarter or so. They give you a nice letter, oh, you are a valuable customer. You can raise your credit rate. I write them right back and say, please put it back. Why? Because that way, if I hit that credit limit, which I rarely do, I know I've already spent next month's income. So we're done. Eh, kahit man ako yan, at most I can lose one month's income. That's it. Can I really be spending more than one month of income I have not yet earned? But I also know I've come to the stage, that was harsh lesson. Bata din ang accept ng feeling dahil mo credit card eh. <laughs> Totoo yun. It makes you feel physically good. Diba? Yung klase ngayon, corny na nga yung silver eh. Pinapabigay na gold, platinum. Meron na titanium. Diamond. So, pag tinuksan mo gano'n, tangin na po dito. Sarap ng feeling. Tapos, yun nga, you get that nice letter. You are a good customer. You now have half a million in... Kahit is ganito, ganito, ganito. Really? Do you really need half a million? Why? What do you buy that's going to be worth half a million in one buy? So, alamin natin yan. Here are some questions to sort of help you. Ano yung pinakamalaki? Is it food? For many of us, it will be food. Is it food? 